He was basically not the kind of man and can ever marry, but he deceived Chief Obi. Chief Obi bought a house worth 200 million for her, bought her two latest Range Rovers and credited her bank account with 100 million the very week she accepted to be his second wife. So more pressure was coming more from Chief Obi. At first, and tried to settle the dispute alone, thinking it might scare Sabanas away because Chief Obi was a very powerful man in the state. So she went to Chief's house with her two friends, Lucy and Kate. On arrival, immediately Chief saw her, he called and his beloved wife and started laughing wickedly. And fell on her knees and started begging Chief to let her go peacefully. Her friends too kneeled down to beg on her behalf. <laughs> he laughed out loud. Then he pointed his hand to Kate and Lucy, he said, You are my witness or I take care of them or I not take care of them. Answer me. They quickly said yes sir. Still kneeling. Chief continued, On a chop from the money to no, no be every time I did dash una money because of an, they said yes sir. He said, and chopped my money finish, now she say she not fit marry me again. She won't go marry one small boy one no get money. Because he fine. No fine boy and six packs you won't chop. Come here my girl let me spoil you. I go buy you another house, build house for your papa for village, as he was bragging, and stopped him and said, please chief, I know you did a lot for me, please I am ready to return everything dot please let me go. She started crying loudly. Still talking, she said, I have never been this happy for a very long time. I'm already 32 years, please let me move on with my life then she angrily said, your second daughter is even older than me. On hearing that, Chief became furious and said, leave my house. You know no say I owed before you they collect my money since. Anna I don't want the things one I don't do for you but you must marry me. Then he walked out on them and went inside and started crying uncontrollably while her friends tried to console her, and went round to beg all the sugar daddies she has promised marriage in order to collect their money. He offered to return the money they've spent on her, some collected some of money, while some let her go free. Now, she was left with Chief Obi. Chief Obi was now torn on her flesh. He refused negotiations and he started sending thugs to harass Anne. When she couldn't take it anymore, she told Sabinas. At first, Sabinas was angry with Anne for keeping such a dangerous secret. He said, you could have been killed and no one will know about it. You friends that know about it might be paid to keep quiet. And begged, begged till Sabinas reluctantly accept. They decided to face their past together and move forward in their relationship. They both acknowledged that they had made mistakes in the past, but they were willing to walk through them as a team. Now, they thought of different plans. First, they decided to go to the police station, they strode that. Then Sabinas and Anne decided to beg Chief Obi first before reporting to the police. One Monday morning, Anne called Chief and told him she would be coming to see him on Saturday morning. Chief was so happy because he has asked Anne to come and see him on several occasions after their last encounter but she refused. Then Chief then asked Anne if she has accepted her proposal but Anne said, we will take when I come. That Saturday morning, Chief has taken his bath, dressed with his best attire and waiting for the love of his life. Hmm. <clears throat> he had ordered his servants to prepare the best dish and decorate the terrace where he would be receiving his beloved guest. When everything was in order, Chief could wait no longer, so he called Anne, and received the call and told him she was few minutes away. Immediately Chief Obi went to the terrace, sat down and started practicing how he would speak to Anne with good English that he has learned for days. He actually thought and didn't want him because he wasn't classy and educated so he paid someone to teach him basic English language and some social etiquettes in few days before Anne returns. Behold, the bell rang, from the terrace, the chief ordered the gatemen to open the gate immediately. The gate was opened. Then Anne and Sabinas entered. 
Chief Obi was shocked and disappointed. Chief Obi shouted angrily, Who are you young man? And he said, My name is Sabinas. And S. Fiancé. Then Chief said, Okay. Wait for me. And was so scared, thinking Chief was coming to shoot them, she wanted to run away but the gate was locked. And the gate man refused to open the gate because he hasn't been ordered. Chief Obi came down, move round Sabinas. And laughed angrily. Then he mimicked him, saying mockingly Sabinas, and fiancé. English boy. Then he said, I know. And always put you in the WhatsApp. Phone one I buy for arm. That bank two of you work, I have plenty plenty money there. Leave my wife or I will make sure they sack two of you. And started crying, begging Chief to have help mercy on them. As a bank marketer, and has persuaded Chief, severally to deposit money in his bank. Chief Obi has lots of shares in the same bank as well. And was really scared, but Sabinas was not scared, he stood his ground. He said to Chief, Please I know she must have promised you marriage but she can't marry you again sir. Please take back everything you've given her and let her go. Chief remained adamant and sent them out of his house immediately. On their way home, Sabinas was so quiet and lost in thought. And was talking all along but he didn't respond. Then and tapped his shoulder and said, What are you thinking about? Do you have any solution yet? Then Sabinas replied, what is Chief Obi's name? And said, Anil. And he screamed. What? Sabinas asked again, Do you know if Chief have any brother? And said, Yes, I know one Chief Emika. He's Chief Obi's elder brother. They even look alike. He once introduced me to his brother when he came to Kono with his third wife Amoka. Sabinas stopped the car in shock and unscreamed with fear. It happened that Amoka who dumped Sabinas for Chief Emika is Chief Obi's elder brother. When Sabina saw him, he saw the resemblance then he decided to just ask and not knowing they were indeed biological brothers. Sabinas was also devastated when he found out that Amoka is Chief Emika's third wife. Chief Emika, Amoka's husband do not reside in Port Harcourt where Amoka and Sabinas live then, he came from Lagos to Port Harcourt, where he was invited to the birthday ceremony of his friend, Chief Yud on his 70th birthday. Chief Yud's last daughter Vivian was Amoka's cosmate and friend, so she was also invited alongside with Sabinas. When Chief Emika Aneo arrived at the party, he was highly welcomed. He was introduced like a president of a country that everyone, took, that everyone took notice of him. That was the first and the only time Sabinas saw him but he still has his reflection in his heart.